Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna to show you how to fix with this part, there we go, there it is. It's a new hook, a Bosch Smart System battery. What happens is when you're riding, depending on the way the battery attaches to the frame, you can end up with the bike cutting out randomly, sometimes mainly when it comes to vibrations, because basically what's happening is the battery inside the tube is vibrating. Now this happens on many different types of mountain bike. It's not just this bike. There's, it all depends on the connection mechanism or the hook mechanism which Bosch offer to the brands of which bike has been affected. I've seen this problem also on white and I've seen it on another brand but I can't remember the name but I just remember seeing a bike having the same issue one day. It only tends to happen if you take the battery out frequently and then ram it back in. The key to mounting a battery on a Bosch system is do it carefully. And this is also true of the Shimano battery uh, release hook, which if you just turn it half a turn, you can unlock it. You don't need to turn it and turn it and turn it and it will break it. So it is a little bit of a weak design, which Bosch have rectified with this spare part. All those people out there who've got one of these systems should be getting a new one of these parts at some point. And for those who want to know, the part number is EB12 1001D and there's another part number on it 1037 EB0089. Now this should be a final production so what we're going to do we're going to take the battery out of this bike and I've only had this problem happen to me very recently because basically I never took the battery out so that's probably why it didn't happen. Take the battery out you've got a bolt here that you undo some of you have commentated on the channel, oh, it cuts out. And so we're gonna take it apart now. So it's very simple. We get the cover off like that. There's then a hook release hook, which I pull and the battery slides out. So if you look here, what you can see is this is the hook hole. Now this can't be adjusted and it's very robust. Okay, so this is the problem. If we get close, we can see this. If you look, this clamp, fits in the frame, so the battery's snugged in the frame. This fits against the locking mechanism, but as you can see, it vibrates, it moves. And that's not correct. Need to remove these bolts from the end of the battery. You don't need to fiddle with anything too much. That should slide off, there you go. There's the cover off. So these are mounted in the lower hole. So they're not done super tight actually. Well, this is probably the smallest fault I've ever seen on a bike part. So basically, so that's the one I've taken off. Now, if you look on the side profile there, you can see in that channel that that snapped off there. Well, it's just gone, so it doesn't retain it anymore. So let's put this on now. So there are some little grooves on the bottom of the clamp. So I'm doing it a little bit awkwardly because I want you to see, but you do it like this, so you put that in there. So I'm just gonna snug them down. I'm not going to over tighten them. Move that out of the way so we can get at it. That's the nut, so tighten it down. Holding it, that fits like this and it sort of slots in and pushes down. So it's in place, that's pretty easy. So we do that with our T15, but that is now fixed and ready to ride and remount. So you put the battery in place the right way up. That's often the most important thing. It should just, slide in. So if you see the battery has some play as it goes in, it's not inside its own encapsulated area. So you've got to hold the battery down and find its place so it pushes in all the way. So as you can see, I'm kind of, oh, there we go. It's all the way in now. That's definitely homed in. Now, before I lock it in place, just half close it, I can just turn it on. Okay, that turns on. Okay, so the battery's mounted. I really closed it very gently. I did nothing crazy. So you do not need to slam these batteries in because obviously you'll break something. And I think that's what happened with a weak design, but they've redesigned it. So now I'm gonna put the cover back on and go and give this a quick test ride and see if it cuts out. Okay, I've tuned the biker pump tires. Let's go and test it to see if this battery now stays connected and it doesn't disconnect. Started cutting out on surfaces with lots of vibration when it started doing it. So this is lots of vibrations, some track to tracks and it's fine. I really like them. This and the Nuke Proof, they're both amazing bikes. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Wow, G out there. Yeah, I'd say that's okay. 
Okay, so I'd say that's fixed. I did a big G out there and nothing happened. It stayed uh, working, no disconnects. Go and get this changed if you've got a battery that's cutting out from Bosch or ask them to send you one and from wherever your dealer is in the world and that should solve any of those cutting out problems. It only affects the latest smart system batteries, not the older systems. So a lot of that's to do with the electronics. Hopefully that was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you on the next video. Bye.